done it. like a sim no one's bothered to finish. What do you think he does when he goes home? His wife probably berates him. Ex-wife. What? Yep. Yikes. Guys, I've done it. Done what? Created a modern masterpiece. Ooh, what have you got for us this time, Gary? Popcorn man. I didn't know we had a little Stan Lee in our presence. From the streets of Seattle, Reuben Gruber was just a normal man until it all began. Hey, not so loud. I don't want people stealing this million dollar idea. Gary, why did you choose Seattle? We live in Wisconsin. The city doesn't matter, just read the pages. Oh, he's so cute. Cute? Yeah, look at him in his little costume. He's not supposed to be cute. He's a menace to all that plagues Seattle. Well, he's an adorable little menace. What are Popcorn Man's powers? Oh, does he make his enemies explode? <laughs> no, that's dumb. So, what does he do? Well, if he touches you, he can see your entire life play out. From start to finish, he sees everything you've ever done. Every. Single. Thing. Well, that's intense. What does that have to do with Popcorn? Please. Do you think I'd reveal that to you right away? You won't even tell us? Well, I mean... You don't have an answer, do you? You guys are missing the whole point. I think we're just trying to better understand Popcorn Man. The idea is good. I just want to see the dots connect, you know? Well, this is only the first issue, so you guys won't get the whole picture. Can you give us a pitch? Yeah, and who's the antagonist? Maybe we can get a better picture after that. Well, I thought to myself, what's the biggest enemy to Popcorn? And? Flip to page seven. <laughs> Marlon Brando? That's hilarious. Looks more like a bass than a Marlin. The type of fish doesn't matter. Fish eat popcorn, don't they? I mean, do they? And if he's a bass, why did you name him Marlon Brando? Why not Robert Bassinson? Or... Jamie Lee Kerr Bass. <laughs> or Daniel Basscliff. <laughs> you guys are missing the whole point. Gary, we're just trying to give you ideas. Yeah, and the art is really cool. Your plot needs some work, but... No, it's stupid. Gary, no one said that. We should go find him. How you doing? Can I ask you a question? Of course. I wrote this comic book and I... You want some feedback? Let me take a look at it. <laughs> Is this the title? Is this a comedy? I'll just give you a rundown. It's about this man, Ruben. He lives in Seattle and he becomes Popcorn Man. Mm -hmm. Well, what are his powers? Well, if he touches you, he can see your entire life play out. Hmm. Like a movie. Is that why he's called Popcorn Man? I like that. So what motivates this character? I, uh... I don't know. Okay. Well, how does he help the people of Seattle? Well, he uses these visions to solve mysteries. Hmm. Well, does he have any oppositions? It's a fish man named Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando? <laughs> oh, that is clever, Gary. But, how does he fight crime with these supposed powers of his? I don't know. Okay. Well, it seems he got a lot to think about for this uh, popcorn person. It's Popcorn Man! And it's a dumb, stupid idea anyways! Gary!
it's you again. What do you want? I want you to make me. What did you just say? I want you to make me, Gary. <laughs> that is not how I expected you to sound. Well, I'm in your head. I'm sorry, Reuben. Please, call me Popcorn Man. I'm sorry, Popcorn Man. I just... I... Look, kid. I may not be perfect. I may need a bit of work. But you made me. Yeah, and that was a mistake. No, don't say that. Look, I think all you need, all we need, is to persevere. We can do this together. Popcorn Man and... Gary, Here, Mr. Burbank would like to speak with you. Gary, what's wrong? I just, I work so hard on this and no one likes it. Can I tell you something, Gary? Do you think Van Gogh nailed it his first try? What about his second or his third? What if I told you that he only sold one of his paintings while he was alive? Really? Really. And did he give up? No. Look, I'm not telling you what you need to do with this, but I really think you have something special here. It just needs more time. I also brought two people who want to speak with you. Hey guys. Hey buddy. Gary, we don't think Popcorn Man is awful. Far from it. We just wanted to give you some advice. Help you make it better. Yeah, what you have so far is awesome. But you all laughed at it. Well that's because it's funny. You're a funny guy and you shouldn't shy away from that. We also have some pretty killer bass names for you. How about Anna de Armbass? Or Millie Bobby Bass. Or John Wilkes Bass. <laughs> Too much? What we're trying to get at is that you shouldn't give up on Popcorn Man. He's a great character and very entertaining. Really? Yeah, man. And just because we gave you notes doesn't mean we hate it. We just know that you can take what was great about it and make it even better. And then it'll truly be a masterpiece. It's a good thing you gave us copies. Thanks, guys. Oh, I got one. Neil the Bass Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, kid.